Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we'll discuss about complete step-by-step -step guide on how to submit 2024 CP8D and also Borang E via MyTax portal. First of all, you need to understand submission of CP8D and also submissions of Borang E is two different steps. Let's begin. The first part will be submission of CP8D. If you encounter this error during submissions, meaning you are trying to submit Borang E without submissions of Borang 8D. We understand that eData privacy already closed on 25th of February 2024. Starting from 1st of March, if you have not submitted your CP8D, you need to do it through My Tax Portal. The way to do is log into My Tax Portal, go into Perhikmatan EZ Hasil, select eData privacy slash eCP8D, select Pengemukaan CP8D, and there's two ways for you to do. The first way is do it manually. You need to manually key in all your staff information and do the submission. Second way is if you have a payroll software, example, SQL payroll software, you can export out a file and upload through my text portal. For all SQL payroll users, please upgrade your SQL payroll software to version 2.04 or above. If you do not have any maintenance, you can consider sign maintenance with me so I can help you to do the upgrading. In this year, there are few new fields that you need to fill up the retirement date or contract expiry date. At the same time, you also need to fill up that particular employee, whether it's a management or a worker and so on. So that's why in SQL payroll software, when you go to a particular employees, at the more tab, you can key in all this information. If he is a permanent staff, the retirement date, what you can do is set the date of birth of that employee at 60 years old and plus one day. If you have some worker that's already more than 60 years old, then you need to set the contract expiry date. Example, you can set yearly or five years or 10 years. You need to go to payroll, statutory report yearly, and click print income tax CP8D. Select the year as 2023, click apply, click the save to file and export a tax file to the destination that you want to keep the tax file. The system will export two files. The file that you need to upload is start with the P sign. Inside, we have all the employees information. After upload, you can see that all the employees information will be uploaded accordingly. Then you need to key in the declaration personnel information, name, IC, and also the position. Click Sah dan Hanta. After submissions, you may find that there's no way for you to print the CP8D. What you can do is go back to the main page, go to Perimatan EZ Hasil, select eData Pricey slash eCP8D, click on Charian, key your company E number, name of the company, and 2023, and click Chari. Then the information will display and click on the Tindakan on the I icon. And over here, you are able to print the acknowledgement slip and also click export to PDF if you want to print the CP8D. You have two documents on your hand now. For part two is where you need to submit your Boran E or Form E. If you already done your E data pricing before 25th of February 2024, then you can directly skip the part one and go to part two. What you need to do is go to Primatan EZ Hasil, click on E filing, click on E Boran, Select 2023, then your company number will display and click the scan. Your company profile will be displayed, check accordingly. And there's one place you need to take note is on the postcode. Even though it displays the postcode, sometimes the banda and the grid will not be displayed. So what you need to do is you need to rekey the postcode and make sure the banda and the grid will be displayed. Then only you continue. Over here, you need to key in accordingly, then click the scan. Key in the declaration information after finish. Click on Tanda Tangan Dan Hanta. You need to fill up the IC number and also the password. After finish, you are able to print the Borang E and also acknowledgement slip. By this time, you should have four documents CP8D, CP8D acknowledgement slip, Borang E, and also Borang E acknowledgement slip. By understanding the submissions of CP8D and also Borang E, you will notice that. It's very easy if you have a payroll software. It's advisable for you to get a payroll software, especially SQL payroll software, to ease your burden next year. That's all for today. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. See you in the next video. Thank you.